This is a real personal subject that I have been embarrassed about for a long time, uh, talking about money. I am just turned 34, and I'm just starting to really budget and um, make money and uh, be able to pay some things off. I was always good and frugal like as a kid at saving money and um, would rather put it in the bank than spend it. And all the way through high school and up until I started college was really good about it. And then I got super sick and I was not able to work and I had medical bills and typical necessity expenses and food and, you know, just the normal things. I lived with my parents and I didn't have um, anything else that I was really spending money on. Um, and since I wasn't able to make money, I wasn't able to pay things off by myself. So my parents were entirely supporting me and I was living with a boyfriend for a long-term relationship and he was supporting me as well as my parents. And that's how I lived the past 14 years up until the past year where I started being able to pay everything off. Um, or started to be able to make money and to start to budget and to learn how to do this again <laughs> and to really learn how to do it um, as an adult that wants to t be independent. And um, I am extremely fortunate that I had parents who could support me in this way. I know there's a lot of people with chronic illness who do not have that kind of support. I was on disability for many years Um and anybody who's on disability knows that that's just enough to like bare minimum. It's not even enough to pay rent. And I live in California, so I had a little bit of extra California um, income through Social Security. But it just, I mean, there's no way that I would have had enough money to live in an apartment on my own. Um, I wouldn't have been able to anyway live in an apartment on my own, but... I had an entirely different way of living, um, was completely dependent um, financially and in many other ways, and um, it was hard. It felt like I felt a lot of guilt around that um, and still working on feeling um, guilt on that, and um and so there was there was a lot to work through, and I've definitely heard from other people who are in a similar place that they feel like um, they're taking too much or um, that, you know, like even to like a really depressing point of like, I'm not giving anything, like why am I even here if I'm just taking? And I definitely went through like a long time of feeling that way that I had like no output and I was just just um, input like everybody was just giving to me and I had nothing to give back and that's how I felt for a really long time um, and it wasn't until recently that I was feeling like I could really um, start to contribute to society contribute to my family contribute to my friends and of course I was contributing things in other ways uh, it just it wasn't where I wanted to be and it was it was very sad and it caused a lot of anxiety and depression for me and a lot of guilt. Um, and I've definitely heard a lot of other people talk about this kind of stuff and um, it feels like there's no way out sometimes. And I know now, like, and I knew it then too, but I know now especially seeing it um, from other people who are going through this, that like, no matter what, like your family and friends want you here, and that they're going to support you and do what they can to help you get through this and get into the next phase of life so that you can be all that you want to be and all that you're hearing can be, and that you are doing all you can to just survive right now. And that is okay if you're in that position. Um, there's there's a lot that, that gets held on with that. And um, 
I don't think it's really talked about that much. And um, I actually just had a, just tonight, a um, really exciting moment. So I have started going back to school um, for Ayurveda, which is traditional Indian medicine. And um, it was $5,200 for the year. And I um, just paid it off. So I just wrote my mom the last check. She she paid for it in full so that it was um, cheaper. And I was just able to pay off um, the last $38 of it. So I've been uh, working. I was working through the summer and I made some money. What? Um, uh, she, my mom just said, how many months she's sitting over here? Well, I started in the summer, so I was working for my friend and doing some jobs this summer. And so I had some money from that. Um, and then I was working, um, doing some pet sitting, doing, um, a prescription delivery job, um, ship shopping and my marketing job, um, which were all part-time. And um, I think it was, let's see, September that I started ship shopping um, and I was saving all that money. And then um, all the money that I made, um, I stopped working for a month when my dad uh, got really sick. And I started again and was working November and December. And um, so it was what, like four months, four months that I was able to do it. So I... I was super determined and I worked my butt off and I was, I was working. I realized there was like some days or, or some weeks where I was working 10 hour days and some of them I was working um, seven days a week because I just was absolutely determined to do it because I could do it for the first time ever. I could, I could work that ever. That was the first time that I could work that much. Um, and so, I, yeah, I was just determined. So now... Now I can start to save and um, I'm going to be splitting my money into different um, accounts so that I have like my necessities, I have my fun money, I'm going to be um, preparing for um, a stable future in whatever this economy can provide stability wise um, right now. But um, that's my story with some of the She's with money and chronic illness, and um, that's a lot. Money holds a lot of energy behind it, a lot of emotions behind it, and um, just know wherever you're at with whatever it is that you're dealing with that you're learning, and you're you're in an okay place, and you can always change whatever it is that you're doing. If you um, have any suggestions for videos that you would like. Um, me to make a video on anything with health. I have had Lyme disease for 14 years and um, many different various symptoms and things. Please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your suggestions or questions and um, thanks for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.